Okay, one of the things that people have been asking about with the ICOM 7300 is can you take an off-the-air recording that you recorded with the QSO recorder and be able to play it back while transmitting? Well, right now there is no way of actually doing that with the radio. But I found a quick and easy workaround. Um, it's kind of a little hack, but it works. And if you want to be able to record some off-the-air conversation and then be able to transmit it back so maybe that that amateur radio operator wants to hear their signal and hear, you know, hear how it's received for you, there is a way to do it. You can't really do it on the fly, but I'm going to show you how we do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the volume up. Hit menu. Go into record. And that's problematic. There's no doubt about record it. start. We're going to let it record for a few seconds. I'm going to hit stop. And then I'm going to eject my SD card. Okay, now I put the SD card in my computer. I open up the SD card. I see the IC7300 folder. If I go into voice, I will see the file that we just recorded. Pause there, open up another window, and we're going to go into voice TX. Now here's an existing WAV file that I had from uh, my, my digital voice key earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this file over to here, and we're going to rename it to voice TX2.wave. I'm then going to eject my SD card, put it in the 7300, and you will see that it will easily transmit that file like it's a voice keyer file. Okay, so I have inserted the SD card back into the 7300. I'm going to hit menu. We're going to hit voice for the voice keyer. I'm actually going to hit record even though we're not going to record. And you can play back what's there. Oh well, anyway, that's uh, what it's all about. And there's that file. So if I go back and hit T2, Whoops, didn't realize I just QRM those guys, but as you can see, there is a quick hack and workaround to retransmit audio that was recorded off the 7300 as long as you name it the same files that the voice keyer uses. If anybody has any comments or better ideas, let me know.